Okay, y'all. I had to bring my car over to my uncle's house because it's fixing to start raining. But I was looking at the mosquitoes and I saw something. If you are an arachnophobia, if you're scared of spiders, look away, okay? <laughs> but look at this little guy. Actually, he's a big guy. But isn't he so cool? Like, he's so pretty. I don't know. He could probably eat me. I don't know. Spiders don't scare me, though. Um, they're good. They're good to have, especially on a farm. Um, but these are... These are my papa's muscadine plants. Vines. He planted these muscadine vines when I was... Uh, about five or six years old. So they're over 30 years old. Um, and they do produce fruit and you can pick them and you can make jellies and jams out of them. Every once in a while, Papa would make muscadine wine out of them. But, I mean, my family, we didn't really, we didn't drink. Um, my father was an alcoholic, so we don't, uh, we didn't, we didn't do that. Um, so, um, yeah, look, there's another spider. I'm going to stop walking through here because there's a fruit spider. Look at him. Oh, he's cute. This little bitty. I don't want to disturb their home. Though. But those ones back there are um, new ones. My uncle planted those ones. But these ones are older. We had some on our property, but you have to keep them up. Like, you have to cut them back and everything and really keep them up. Um, and after my dad passed away. None of us really knew how to take care of them. But I wish you could see up in there. There's like, uh, see, it's like um, like a trellis where you cut them back every year. And um, they just build up and build up and build up. But you have to tend to them or they won't produce fruit properly. But anyway, um, we used to... We used to come and pick muscadines and then you boil them down in the pot and you put that pectin stuff in it and you'd make some jelly out of it. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. It's not, um, it's not as sweet as grapes. It's just, and the skins on them are thicker. I never would eat the skins. I would just like throw the skins out. Anyway, I'm so sad my neighbor sold the land and his kids had it cleared. So sad. There used to be right there in that area. There was an old house. Y'all have to tell y'all. <laughs> I got my house shoes on. Oh my lord. I hope a car don't come. I don't want nobody seeing me looking so ratchet. My hair is up in a messy bun. Anyway. When I was a kid, my dad used to tell us, don't go over there to Mr. Riley's property. Because there was that old abandoned house. It used to be their old homestead. But they built a new house. So they just, you know, it just got abandoned. But my daddy said, y'all don't go over there. Well, we had coyotes out here in the woods. <clears throat> well, me and Doreen and Robin and Bubba, we're going to go exploring. Those are my siblings. Some of my siblings. We're gonna go exploring the old house. I don't know. I think they. I think they just pushed it all over. It was right there where that clump of. It was right, right yonder. But this was all like a whole bunch of woods. So we're gonna go exploring. Y'all, we get up there, and there the house is still there, and the floor though is it's all wooden. Well, Doreen sees that there's this old dress hanging in the house, like old, and she wants that dress. I don't know what she thought she was going to do with it. As soon as she picked it up off the hanger, it was probably going to disintegrate. It had been in there for 40 years. Well, we couldn't just let, I mean, I couldn't just let my sister go in there by herself, even though she was older than me. Actually, I was just a nosy little twit. They didn't really want me to come, but I come anyway. So she climbs up in the house. Well, I follow after her. Honey, our foot, I had on little flip-flop shoes. The foot, our foot went straight through that wooden floor. 
And when we did, we unearthed a den of coyotes, and there was pups in there. Y'all, that was almost the day that Miss Nikki did not exist anymore. I was a fat little thing when I was little, too. Oh, my goodness. You ain't never seen a fat little thing run so fast in all her life. We ran and ran and ran, and our driveway is not as deep. Now it's not as steep as it used to be. Used to be. You can see. Hold on. I'll show you. Used to. You see where they cut it down? It used to be, like, way up. It was so steep. I ran so fast. Y'all, them coyotes. Oh, my goodness. Then Bubba tells Daddy what we did. Then we got our butt tore up for going up in that old house. I didn't never go back down there again in my life. Never. I don't, what in the world possessed us to do that? I have no idea. But we sure did. Anyway, I'm out of breath. I guess I'm, whew. <laughs> I'm getting old. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's paint now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today I'm working on this 15 by 30 canvas and I think I laid out 10 cups. We're going to do a flip and drag. Um, it's been a minute since I did a flip and drag so I thought, mm, why not? Um, I got some new Arteza paint so I used um, some of those and um, yeah, just had fun making this. Um, I think that I probably fixed too many cups. Um, you'll see whenever I flip them over on the canvas, I was like running out of place to put them. So either I didn't space them properly or I mixed up too many cups. Um, either way, it is what it is. Um, it was just fun. I was just playing. So um, I just walked back over from Uncle Doug's. Now I'm sitting on the porch. Y'all, it is so nice out here. It's like proper fall weather. It's probably in the 60s. I can't believe it. Um, I'm just like, I can wear a sweater pretty soon. If, you, <laughs> if you're familiar with South Mississippi, you know we don't get to wear sweaters very, very long. Um, so, whenever we get to wear sweaters in our boots, I'm so, so happy because those are like my favorite things to wear. Um, but yeah, it only lasts about a month, maybe two months. Um, and then it's back to like regular clothes. Um, but let's see. Today is Sunday. The, oh yes. Today is the 20th. Yes, I think so. Um, I, what did I do today? I got up and... Mm. I worked on school a lot today. I am um, trying to get ahead of my lessons, that, like my regular homework lessons that are for next week because I have a pretty big project. Uh, that statistic analytics make me crazy stuff I don't understand. I got a project that's due, that's worth 25% of my grade <laughs> um, next week. So I'm trying to get like other things taken care of so I can focus on it. Um, and then I worked on that until about three-ish, um, and I went out to the art room painting, but I had my, um, my textbooks are on, on my phone, like, 
the audiobooks. So even though I was painting, I was still like doing schoolwork because I was listening. My book was being read to me. Um, so that usually takes about two hours. So that was, um, I was multitasking. I think I'm going to do that from now on because it's like I was listening of course but I was still painting so it was kind of nice and relaxing actually and I think I actually listened to what was being read to me so um yeah um but I did do two pours um one of them one of them didn't work the first way I did it so I just threw down some more paint and did a swipe on it and it come out really really nice I think you guys will like it um oh you see me pouring from this container I'm not crazy I mix, I use so much white and black from the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic lines that I just mix it up and keep it in the, in the, um, in that container. Um, so yeah, that's mixed. I don't know if I included it in the, um, product listing. Um, if I didn't, it's, I mean, it's Flow Acrylic and it's mixed the same ratios, one to one, um, with a little bit of water. Um, so, yeah, this, um, I think this was maybe, maybe my first, um, pour that I did with the Arteza paints. I bought a whole bunch of them. I unboxed them. It's on video. I just haven't shared the, I hadn't shared the video. I don't know if I'm going to, cause it's just a lot of stuff. And, um, it was a big order and I spent a lot of money and I don't want it come off as braggy so I'm not sure if I'll share that or not but this was um, one of the first pours I did if not the first pour I did using the art as a paint and um it's I've used there's one color I've used like three times since I mean this one and it's I think it's sky blue and I don't know what it is about that particular paint but it makes clumps so bad um, but the other paints seem to be doing well. They have an odor though. It smells, I don't know how to explain the odor and I, I don't like it, but when it dries, it, the odor doesn't stay. So, I mean, that's good. I wish it didn't have the odor, but I'm sure there's some reason for it that can't, you know, be nullified. But, um, so far I like the paints except for that sky blue one. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's made some clumps but yeah the rest of them i really really like um so here are my wet results and i like how that lime green is like um really showing out in this it's, i don't know uh it's a quite a youthful color palette um I, I like it and i like the way this piece come out like those cells right there and then that white, there's a little bit of lacing going on, I think. Um, and then that lime green. I like it. Um, but yeah, so that's a, it was a pretty big canvas. Um, I got it, I got that canvas from Joanne's, I think. Um, and then here is the dried results. And they look pretty nice. It, it dried pretty much um, the same way. I like those cells right there a lot. Um, yeah no putty <laughs> anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you're staying healthy and safe wherever you are um and i hope this inspires you to create something of your own and i will speak with you all very soon bye